you feel heartbroken. Uh, being a former police officer, I've uh, attended numerous funerals, and it's hard to do. It's hard on everybody, not only police officers, but all emergency services and citizens of the area where uh, the police officers uh, were uh, deceased. Well, I think the community really came together. Uh, I don't think any, anyone in this community ever thought that something like this would happen. I really think this was a, a great service that they had for, and, and, and there just so much came out in the service. Uh, the men, obviously, from all the different comments that were made about their life and who they were, uh, were good police officers, good civil servants, and, and also a very important thing was that how they were as parents and husband, wife, and, and, and parents, and the whole uh, emphasis on family. I think that was, that was very, very well brought out, and it was sad. It, it was just such a waste to have these people go the way it happened. It was actually quite emotional. I um, did not know either one of the officers, but to, to know that our officers who go up there every single day and do what they do, and to meet such a horrific, tragic end, is just heartbreaking for all of us. So you didn't have to know them to be incredibly touched by what happened today. I hope that it really shines a light on the fact that we have a lot of really good police officers. Um, and we have police officers that are here to serve and they, they do their job because they simply want to be here for the community and they genuinely care about us.